For today's video, I wanted to share how to fade a surgical scar. Almost a year ago, I was in an accident where I broke my arm, I had to have surgery, and I now have metal in my arm, and I was left with a really large scar, but I have been able to fade it quite a bit. I'll show you before and after pictures of what it looked like from the accident when I had the stitches and everything, and then after that, the scar that it left, and what it looks like now. I can't remember if the accident happened in January or February, but I think it's almost been a year. So it's been quite some time and I have tested out a variety of things to help fade the scar. And let me show you also up close. As you can, you can still see it, but it has faded a lot, but you can see also how long it is. So if you are somebody who also has a surgical scar and you are wanting to fade it and you just kind of want some advice on things that help, hopefully this video can help you out because I do have a variety of products that I do want to mention. The first one that I want to mention, I think this is the one that has really done the most. Um, and also the one that I have tested out for the longest period of time. So these are silicone scar sheets. I find that they're quite affordable and it will last you quite a while. These you can actually reuse. I find that you could reuse them a couple of times or really just keep them on for a while before you have to use a new sheet. But basically this comes in a roll. And what I will do because of the size of my scar is I will actually take like about this much because that's about the length of my scar and then what I will actually do is I will cut right through the middle of it so right through here and then that gives me two scar sheets to work with and I can use one of those at a time because you know this is a thin scar I don't need to use this thick of an amount at a time and actually what that looks like is like this so I will just put that directly on the scar and it kind of just feels like you're applying like a band-aid or like a sticker and i was very kind of like not totally sure how this silicone scar sheet helps to fade them but basically what the silicone does is that it seems to kind of keep in moisture and keep it moisturized and i think that's one of the main things when fading a scar is making sure that you're keeping it moisturized because that can really help with fading the scar this is supposed to improve heal and lighten scars it also has a little chart on the back where it explains how to use it, it says for the first day that you use it wear it for four hours so on the third day of using it use it for eight hours and then five days of using it for 12 hours basically you work up to it until you're wearing it for 24 hours a day so at 13 days and onwards you're supposed to wear this for 24 hours so you just keep it on and that is what I did I would just keep it on for days at a time there are a variety of different silicone scar sheets out there there's a lot that you can find on Amazon I did find these on Amazon I did try a few other brands and some of the brands either just came off really easily they didn't stay on as easily for as long and there are other brands that are definitely more expensive than this so I found that this was the best ones that I have used and also for the price I feel like it is an affordable price and this roll should last you quite a while also depends on you know the size of your scar but mine is pretty long so hopefully that can kind of give you an idea and this will last me quite a while I went through honestly this is this is actually only my second box of this since when I first started using them kind of stopped using them for a while which I will get into because I wanted to try out a few other things. But this one I think is what definitely helped me the most. You know, in addition to helping to fade the scar, the silicone scar sheets are also supposed to help with um, kind of flattening out the scar. So it, if, if you do kind of have like a raised scar, this is supposed to help with flattening it out. And I do think that this really did help with that as well. So this is the number one thing I would say I would recommend out of everything that I'm going to talk about in today's video. I will link this in the description box below if you do want to check it out. And then the next thing that I tried are from the brand Josh Rosebrook and this is their body acid serum and also their C body cream now these aren't technically for scars although they do mention um, that you can apply them to scars it can help to fade them so basically this body acid serum is like an exfoliating like a gently exfoliating body serum and I would actually just apply this directly to my arm and I applied a little bit too much here in the demo I just applied any excess to the rest of my arm you could use this on more of your body if you want but um, I did use this for a while on my scar I would first apply the serum and then I would apply the C body cream on top and it says actually for the like the description or how to use this product it says you can apply more to areas where you have scars so that kind of made me think like oh maybe this can help with scars and I do feel like this did help a little bit 
Um, I tested these out together probably for like a month. Also, I know these both look quite full, so you're probably like, how did you test these for a month? They're full. But I actually went through two uh, of their travel sizes of both of these products. I completely went through them, and the travel sizes lasted me a month. You know, especially because I wasn't applying them all over my body. I was just using it on the scar for the most part. And I do feel like these combined definitely did kind of help, and it also really helps to keep the scar moisturized. So this is a combo that I really like. And and then a while ago, Good Molecules launched a discoloration correcting body treatment. I'm a huge, huge fan of their discoloration correcting serum. I've done two videos on that and how that serum helped me with fading my leftover acne scars. It's amazing. So when I saw that Good Molecules launched a similar type of product, but specifically for the body, I was very excited to use this. This uses trendexamic acid to help with targeting discoloration and it's supposed to help with promoting an even skin tone. So this one, I will say I haven't used for as as long as I have a period of time and consistently but I did want to mention this because I think this is something that will have amazing results I know that good molecules has a really good formula with their discoloration correcting serum so with this body treatment I just feel like this would definitely do really really well let me know if you want me to do like a trial like a month test using this product let me know I could do a month trial testing it on my scars so you guys can see before and after pictures because this one is the one that I have used the least amount. I just kind of more recently have started using it every once in a while and sometimes I do forget um, but I have started using this more often and I kind of actually like to use this kind of like a serum type product and then top it with this moisturizer. Also something to me was when I was looking into creams. I feel like there's a lot of creams out there and I personally just really like to look into ingredients and I didn't want, I feel like a lot of the like scar creams out there just filled with ingredients that I personally didn't want to use obviously like everyone has their own preferences with ingredients that they like to use or ingredients that they feel comfortable using but as far as like a moisturizer goes I really like the ingredients that Josh Rosebrook uses they use a lot of organic ingredients so I have really liked using both of the Josh Rosebrook products the before and after pictures that I showed you earlier that is a result of just testing out all of these things combined so kind of put that into consideration I'd say I probably use these silicone scar sheets consistently for like three months and then I used you know these products the Josh Rosier products for a month and then the good molecules discoloration correcting body treatment I just kind of started using um, every once in a while so kind of put that into consideration so if you are wondering which ones you should get I would say first of all definitely check out the silicone scar sheets I will link it in the description box below use these consistently I'd say use it consistently for a few months um, see how it's working see how you like it and then if you do want more of like a cream something that's really really hydrating and moisturizing I would definitely recommend checking out the Josh Rosebrook C body cream and then if you kind of want to just add a little bonus I would say test out the body acid serum, kind of using these in combination, I really like. So I would definitely say that these are worth trying if you like the idea of having something that is more moisturizing. They do have mini sizes, travel sizes that you can get. I would definitely recommend maybe getting that first to see how you like the products first before you know committing to purchasing the full sizes because um, the full sizes are pretty pricey. So I would recommend trying the travel sizes first. If you want a more affordable option to like a serum type product, I would definitely recommend checking out the Good Molecules Discolor correcting body treatment because this is quite affordable and this I feel like this is definitely a great option if you didn't want to do this this is much more affordable um, and it's still gonna help with fading the scar you can kind of just incorporate this into your regular skincare routine if you do a skincare routine and just use this for your scar and you can use this morning and night also something I do want to mention is to make sure that your scar is totally healed before applying any products I think I waited like two months before I applied any product to my scar because it really Really needed time to heal you want to make sure that you are not applying anything to a fresh surgical scar so that is all I have for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful again if you do want to check out any of the products that I mentioned in today's video I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below if you do have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you would like to see even more content from me in the future I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video